Today I'll show you how to create a logo with AI in minutes and make some money from it. AI is becoming super powerful and it is all around us. If you don't live in a bubble, you have probably seen some of its capabilities. Generating images from text has become one of its most known features. For example, my image is generated in mid-journey and I've been animated in After Effects. How do I look? Many AI tools can generate images from text, but I'll focus on five because the top five videos are what people like to watch on YouTube. This video is not sponsored. All the reviews are based on my real life experiences. I'll leave the part about how to make money for the end of this video. So try to stick with me because I'm trying to crack on YouTube's algorithm. I'll start with the diagram.ai. This new tool received millions of dollars in funding and lots of attention because it can incorporate text into images very well. Let's try it. You can use it for all kinds of text to image generators, but we will use it for logo design. Be aware that your prompts are public and anybody can use them. They can't get the same result as you, but they can copy your ideas. It is okay to share your prompts like in mid journey and show off, but sometimes you wanna keep your business ideas for yourself. Let us exploit this to make things faster. I will copy a logo design for a barber shop. The logo will contain the text, Barber Master. As you can see, I'm getting some interesting results. I can also remix these results and get more variations. Since this is still a new service, there is some waiting time, but you can have a nice design in a matter of minutes. I think Ideogram is great and easy to use. Since it is still free, try it as soon as you can. Final image is low resolution. It is fine for social media posts, but you can't print this wherever you want. If you stick with me, I'll tell you which software I use to upscale images. I use this software to upscale myself from Midjourney, and look how sharp and crisp I look. You will need something to upscale your images because some of the tools I discuss won't render high resolution images you need high resolution images to put your logo on graphics designs for print. I'll tell you how to convert images into vectors for print in a minute. If you don't want or don't know how to work with prompts, don't worry, there is a solution if you don't mind paying. I've tried Loka a couple of times. It is really simple to use and all you need to do is follow the on-screen steps to get started and then tweak your results some more to achieve the desired results. I want to create a logo and complete branding for a dog grooming business. As you can see, this is way less powerful than using prompts, but there are lots and lots of customizing options. Luca is excellent at generating previews, so now you can see how your design will look at almost anything. If you don't like how it looks on a t-shirt, you can go back and adjust the settings. You can unlock your creativity with all of these options. I'm not a designer, but I can tell when a logo looks interesting. This to me looks fine and it took less than 10 minutes to make this. But if you want to have the whole package, you need to pay for it. The option that will fulfill your needs costs $96 per year. In my opinion, it is a small investment. But if you don't want to pay, there is a way around this. First, take a screenshot of your design. As I said before, if you want to print your logo on a t-shirt, business card, or whatever you need to convert it into a vector file, you can do that easily in Adobe Illustrator. But if you don't want to pay for Adobe's suite, there are other options, again, with the help of AI. Vectorize.ai is an easy and simple way to do that for free. Drag and drop your design to the web interface. Wait for a couple of seconds and you have your SVG file. This file extension can be opened in Affinity, Photoshop, Illustrator, and other similar software if you want to edit anything else. Or you can just send the file to the print shop and let them do the rest. Let's check the file in Adobe Illustrator. As you can see, everything is nice and crisp and there are layers for every element. You can thank me by hitting the like button. For upscaling images, I use upscale.org. This tool works wonders and I'm recommending it to everybody. It is still free and can be used on all operating systems. After installing it, choose your image and select how large it needs to be. Wait a couple of seconds and that is it. This image is now upscaled four times and it looks clean and crisp. 
there will soon be a web-based interface for this. You can thank me now by hitting the subscribe button. Moving on with logo designers. Namecheap is a well-known domain seller and hosting provider, but they offer free logo design. This one is really easy to use, but it has some limitations. If you want a fast and free solution, then I recommend Namecheap. I will use this to create a logo and branding for a farmer's business. There are plenty of pre-made templates to choose from, or you can start from scratch. Start by choosing the font, colors, and an icon. After that, you will see lots of different variations. Choose the one that you like and edit it more. It is really easy to edit designs and develop a nice solution. This looks okay, do you agree? It is free, fast, and easy to use. What else can you ask for? You can see how the design will look on business cards, t-shirts, websites, and social media. You will receive your files in PNG and vector formats, so you can apply your design anywhere. Leonardo.ai is another free tool based on prompts. Let's see how this will work for creating logos. The first thing you'll see are recent creations from the community. In my case, this doesn't help much because I want to create a logo for a health clinic. I'll try to copy this prompt to see where this will lead me. I'll try now with my prompts. It doesn't seem this will work for me. I'll try some of the models. I'll go with Leonardo Diffusion. This will not work either. I'm usually pretty good with this, but Leonardo and I just can't get along. It is hard for me to suggest this one for logo design. Try it for yourself and let me know where did I go wrong. I need to warn you that you will have a certain amount of credits, so trying different models in the free version is not an endless option. Let's try something else so that this video has a happy ending. Microsoft Bing can also generate images with the help of DALL-E, a well-known AI tool. I know it is very powerful, but let's see how this handles logo creation. I'm still sticking with creating a logo for a health clinic. This is not what I expected. I will need some help with this. Gravity Write is a tool that helps you write all kinds of content, including prompts for generating logos. It is free for the limited number of words. First, I'll describe what I want to do, and then it will generate four different prompts. As you can see, writing a more detailed prompt will help you with the design. Let's try all versions. I'll stick with this one. The letters are all wrong. If you don't know how to use Photoshop or don't want to pay for any software, use Canvas free account to edit your image. Removing text comes down to adding a box and color picking it to your background. After that, I can add the text that I want. When you are done, create a vector file in vectorize.ai. The downside of this is that you can't see how your logo will look on t-shirts or social media posts. So think carefully, my friends. Which one of these will suit you? If you want a powerful tool and are not afraid of using prompts, go with ideogram.ai. If you want a complete package and you don't mind paying for it, go with Luca. And if you need something free and fast, try Name Cheap. Let's talk about how to make money from what you have learned today. I'll discuss this in a short and simple way, but I will make a full-length video on how to make money online with this soon. There are two ways this can go down. You can make logos for others or you can make logo templates. There are lots of places where you can buy and sell logo templates. Download and adjust it to your liking, then re-upload and resell it. For example, you can download this template, change the font and lettering, and sell it. Or you can be hired by a client to create a logo from scratch. For this, you can use any of these tools from today's video. Where do you find clients for this? The easiest way is on freelancing platforms like Freelancer, Upwork, or Fiverr. Look for job opportunities and apply to those you can fulfill. This is a bit more complicated than this, of course, but for now, this is it. Thanks for watching.